What is going on folks? It's your boy Luke here or Arm All Star 100 coming at you with a brand new Lego Star Wars alternate build video. Today we're taking a look at my build for set 75246 the Death Star Cannon. Now this set came out in October 2019 as part of the Force Friday Episode 9 launch. It retails for 20 US dollars, includes 159 pieces and two minifigures. Those being Mr. Obi-Wan Kenobi and a Death Star Gunner. I think it's a pretty solid set. It's easily attainable for 20% off at places like Amazon and Walmart. So check that out. It's just a cool little set. It's got some really nice detailing that gives off that definite Death Star vibe. The minifigures are also pretty decent. Uh, the Death Star Gunner has some really nice detailing and a cool helmet mold. The Obi-Wan figure comes with that new hood mold that, honestly, right now I'm not the biggest fan of, but I definitely think it's growing on me. And uh, another issue I see with the Obi-Wan figure is the fact that there's no leg printing. I mean, come on, they gave it to this nameless Death Star Gunner, but not to one of the most iconic characters in the franchise. So, I don't know, even just like some simple robe detail printing, I think that goes a long way on minifigures. That's something I really appreciate and kind of bummed we missed out here. So, a minor gripe, I know, but I still see issue with it. Other than that, it's definitely a quality, cheap little set. It's a fun playset with many features, and I think it's really cool, but still, I wanted to go ahead and change things up. All right, and here it is. I'm calling this the Death Star playset. So I took a kind of similar approach as the actual set includes. That includes a playset of the canon, and I took that and kind of expanded on it a little bit. So the, I guess uh, I should start off by saying I've never really done a playset alternate build like this, so that's pretty cool I, I enjoyed like stepping out of my comfort zone and trying something new and exploring this kind of uh, different build style as well as full disclosure it definitely is not my most structurally sound design I've ever created um, especially at these two connection points right here it, it tends to sometimes uh, break off there so it's really easy to fix but you should just be aware of that when you're moving it or if you actually do decide to try out this alternate build that is a small problem that you can modify and overcome with other bricks, but just for the sake of being an alternate build, that is an issue. So yeah, um, main f design feature, I guess, here, as you can see, I got all these different levels going on. So it's kind of like a three-tier different structure. And uh, yeah, I think that's just a cool element that gives it this cool, unique design and a lot of uh, space for playability and stuff. So. We'll start down here at the bottom level. We got two little defense structures. So I used these uh, one by two like rounded pieces to give it a nice little barricade there for some troopers to stand behind and lay down some fire. As well as on this side, we got a little turret right there with the, using that clip piece to and some trans red to kind of give it a unique looking style. So yeah, just nice little structure for uh, some added space for some troopers and moving up to the next level I got a little antenna slash turret build you can make it whatever you want um, I'm just gonna call it an antenna for like communication something like that so another spot for a trooper or two to hang out up there and uh, yeah I guess I just really like the way this looks I want to point this out quick with you got the trans red here the trans blue down there in the middle and the trans green of the turret so just like a cool little color scheme I got going on. Um, not super intentional, but I do like the way it turned out. So, oh, yep, so that'll happen sometimes. But really simple, you just put it back together like that and go on your merry way. So moving around to the other side here, um, this is probably my favorite part of the build. I think it just looks the best. Uh, we got some nice detailing of this 2 by what is that, 2 by 10 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, yeah, so uh, 2 by 10 little plate there nice detailing with the one by two grill pieces and stuff and looking down at the bottom I like the way I use those clips and that bar piece to kind of give it a little more support and make it look pretty cool as well as coming down here you can see that little reactor build so I use those two by two rounded trans light blue pieces to give it that look and a lot of not a lot but a decent amount of detail to make it look good and unique as well as it provides structures for the build so pretty cool um, 
coming up to this level the actual turret itself here so once I again I talked about the trans green I utilize that flick or the the spring loaded shooter here so we'll go ahead fire that real quick so you all know how that works but yeah um, I did take a lot of inspiration from the actual set in this one so this is pretty similar to how the build looks with the the barrels and stuff like that but um, yeah so coming around you can see we got that the nice printed one by one tile and that little click piece there um, yeah so fell apart again but like I said that'll happen it's a really easy fix and not we didn't lose too much so yeah and finally the very tippy top here we got that top platform um, that's just uh, I guess a cool spot high up for two guys to duke it out up there and it looks pretty cool I like the way like I designed it with that rounded look and these uh, tile rounded pieces as well as the clips over here just gives it a nice little detail pretty sharp looking and yeah definitely pleased with the way this whole thing turned out all right and like I said folks this is a playset so it looks good when you fill it up with a lot of figures so I guess going into it I did run under the assumption that people who would seek this video out and try this alternate build would have other figures Star Wars related figures they could include in their little battle scene so I apologize if you don't have all these but that's kind of what the idea I went with so We'll take a look quick here. We got, well, first off, I'll show you. We got Luke and Chewie here. Luke's in his Stormtrooper disguise and uh, Chewbacca with his bowcaster ready to go attacking the enemy. Um, but yeah, we got some Stormtroopers up on this level arming their little respective posts. This guy's man in the turret. He's just laying down some covering fire. An Imperial officer up there communicating with headquarters or the bridge, whatever. And uh, yeah, swinging around to the other side, we got that Imperial Gunner included in the set. He's manning that turret right there. So he's ready to go lay down some fire and deal some damage. And finally, up top, the most notable and important part, I guess, I kind of designed that top structure to be a place where old Ben Kenobi and Darth Vader could duke it out for the last time. So if you remember from the movie, this is their final battle. Um, ben is kind of distracting Darth Vader so our heroes can get away. So this is kind of that battle going on up there. It's not exactly movie accurate, you know. They weren't actually on this giant platform in the middle of a field. But, you know, for the sake of making this a playable set, that's kind of the choice that I decided to go with. So, yeah, just... A way to uh, use some of your extra figures and give this playset a little bit more life so I hope you like that all right folks well yeah I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close out the video here just with one final look at the playset as a whole all filled up here but um yeah so like I said this is kind of my first attempt at doing an alternate build for like an actual playset as opposed to a vehicle or something like that so Overall, I'm really glad how it turned out. I think it it definitely it's grown on me a lot since I first built it. I was like, yeah, it looks kind of weird, but just having it set up for the past couple days, it, it really looks cool. And yeah, I'm definitely really pleased with how everything turned out. And it looks really cool, especially now when I put a bunch of troopers on there and filled it up. I'm, I'm proud. I think it's good. So yeah, if you agree with me and you also think it's good, let me know in the comments below and drop a like on the video while you're heading down there and subscribe to the channel if you're new so I do a lot of these alternate builds. it's something I really enjoy and uh, yeah plan on keep doing it so let me know also in the comments what kind of sets you'd like to see me do in the future um, what other Star Wars or even not Star Wars related sets I try to stick to the smaller ones but hey I'd be down for a good challenge so just let me know what y'all think um, and yeah, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this build, whether it looks really stupid and it sucks, or if you actually like it. Either's good. I, I just want to know. So yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, if you're taking off before the build tutorial here, I just want to say, you know, as always, have a great day.
we will see you next time. Peace.